Namaste YouTube, this is Ambi again. Today we will talk about another uh, JavaScript topic. This time it's going to be conditional operators. Well, what is a conditional operator? Let's say uh, you are uh, starting at a signal, uh, you say green light, then you have to do something. Yellow light, you do something else. Red light, you do something else, right? That's where it is. So let's first define some variables, right? Uh, let me do my favorite A, B, C, D, right? In equals, I'm assigning some values to it, right? So A equals, B equals, C equals, D equals. So you know what the deal here is. So let's start with um, if statement, shall we? So if A is less than B, then what shall we do? We shall assign a value to a variable called outcome, and the value is going to be A is less than B, right? Right, so what I'm going to do here is I will try to print out outcome now. Yep, so A is less than B. Uh, the value of A is 1 right and the value of b is 2 since a is less than b then the value of the outcome is that one right what if i change this a bit right so let me go here it is less than the intro of that i will say hmm greater than b then outcome y because it's taking the previous value. Let me do this. Uh, variable outcome equals null. So I'm going to clear that and run this function again. Now, what I will do here is variable outcome because undefined y because a is not greater than b. So what I will do here is instead of that let's uh, let me do this if one is greater than two which it is not variable outcome one is greater than two right and i'm going to say else i will write another condition variable outcome is one is not greater than two makes sense right so i'm going to print out the outcome now to the console let's see one is not greater than two makes sense yes it does what you can uh what if there are multiple conditions that you want to check mm, else you want to see whether one is uh, greater than two or let's say there's five five is greater than uh, okay let's do it uh, instead of like talking about it let's say if one is greater than two i'll say okay one is greater than two then what i want to do here is i'll just press the up arrow key and i will use this and uh, hmm else one is not greater than two what i want to do here is i will else right after else i can do an if statement here if then i will put another condition and i'll say um else if one is equal to two then i will say one is equal to two right then else i will say var outcome equals 
doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Okay. Where did I miss? Where was the syntax error? Left hand side in assignment expression 3, line number 3, 13. 1, 2, 3. This is else if and 1. Oh, okay. Of course. Makes sense. I'm assigning a value 1, 2. I should say this because I'm checking for this. Uh, for line number 5, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. Outcome, variable outcome doesn't make sense okay there is a quote here so i should enclose this in double quotes i will do this all right awesome i fixed it so whenever you get a uh, another uh subtopic here whenever you get an error usually you will see uh this is how you see it in java line number five you know 34 character i mean i'm not gonna count the character here but you get the point where to get where to find uh, the problem right so uh, let's do this if um, hmm, if now let's print out the outcome here what is it doesn't make sense because it doesn't make sense let's use the same thing again instead of um, else if I will do remove this for less than three right then i'll do four is less than three well that doesn't make sense how we i want it to be true four is greater than three so i will make it four is greater than three happened I'm going to print the outcome now. So 4 is greater than 3. So here, uh, if we analyze the code again, if 1 is greater than 2, then set the value or the variable outcome, uh, outcome uh, outcomes value as 1 is greater than 2. Else, and if this is not holding true, then uh, if this statement is false, I mean, if this statement is true, then do this, right? But if that statement is not true, then check for this condition else, that is if, if this statement is true, then do this, right? But if nothing else is true, uh, if nothing else is like, you know, holding up, then ultimately at the end, do this. So that is what it is, conditional operator. So thank you for tuning in. You have a great one.